In this video, I'm going to look at algebraic identities, also known as unknown coefficients, and I'm going to look at it through a past paper question which came up as 2017. It's one I went through when I went through completing the square. Now, algebraic identities, what this means is we're going to be comparing terms that are on the left-hand side of the equation to terms that are on the right-hand side of the equation. So I'm going to rewrite my original 2x squared minus 7x minus 10 is equal to ax plus h squared plus k. Now for this to be true I need to just expand out the right hand side that's going to be a outside of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus k which is equal to ax squared plus 2ahx plus ah squared plus k and that's equal to 2x squared minus 7x minus 10. For this to be true, the terms which are the same on the left hand side as the right hand side, i.e. x squared and x squared, they have to be equal. So 2x squared has to be equal to ax squared or else it won't be true. Minus 7x has to be equal to 2ahx, i.e. the coefficient of x on the left has to be equal to the coefficient of x on the right. That's minus 7 is equal to 2ah. And minus 10 there has to be equal to ah squared plus k. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to equate like terms. And that's the key thing for this question, equating like terms. That means anything which has an x squared on the left has to be equal to that on the right. So the coefficients have to be the same. So 2x squared equals ax squared. Hence, 2 is equal to a, or a is 2. Also looking at the yellow one now, minus 7x equals 2ahx. Hence, minus 7 equals 2 be times 2 because a is 2h. H then equals minus 7 over 4. And looking at the pink boxes then, minus 10 equals a h squared plus k. So minus 10 equals 2 times minus 7 over 4 squared plus k. Rearranging that then, k is equal to minus 10 minus 49 over 8. And we're left with k equals minus 129 over 8. This basically means if I wanted to rearrange this equation here in this form, I could do it by completing the square or I could do it by algebraic identities. And I'm just going to fill it in this way. A is 2, so 2x squared minus 7x minus 10 equals 2 outside of x plus h, which is minus 7 over 4, to be squared, plus k, which is minus 129 over 8. In other words, that's the completed square form of this equation. So just to recap, always when using algebraic identities, so just to recap, when using algebraic identities, the key thing to do is expand out the brackets and equate like terms. And if you equate the coefficients of like terms, then you're able to solve the problem. And in this case, we were able to rearrange the function 2x squared minus 7x minus 10 into its completed square format.